I assume, though, you, you do mostly, when you're dubbing anime, just one actor at a time. Oh, yeah. It's, it's just, it doesn't make sense for me to do it any other way. It's yeah, and easier. most of the time, when the projects I've worked on, we've only done one actor at a time. But the exception was some of the extras we've done on, like, ROG the TV, where they were kind of, like, ad-libbing. Or I Might Me Strawberry Eggs. There's, like, uh, there's these bonus materials in there. And it's supposed to be sort of an ad-libbed group thing. So we gave them, like, a rough script, and then they were supposed to just play off of that. And we had, like, all three of the act main actresses but again, it's not to live flat. Problem with that is when you're trying to mat, when you're doing prelay and they're drawing the stuff afterwards, it's okay. It's easy because they can, if you, even if somebody messes up, um, you know, you don't have to like necessarily go back. You, I mean, you don't have to stop and, and, and do it. You can just keep going and then go back and pick that thing up. With um, anime, you can't really have that in there. I mean, I know the Japanese do that, but they they're just insane. <laughs> Uh, so they, yeah, they. I mean, it, it is interesting. I've seen them do it in Japan, where they will have five or six to ten people in a, a, a large recording booth, all wearing little booty slippers, so they don't make any foot noise. So they'll, be, they'll have three microphones set up in front, and you know, there they'll be the primary characters. They'll be close to the microphones, and then, yay, got some activity outside there. Maybe it's a knife fight. <laughs> uh, and they will slowly walk up to the microphone. They'll have like headphones on, giving them cues about like wait, like one minute to your line, you know, thirty seconds to your line, something like that. So they know they come up to the script, and, you know, and they just they'll do their line. If they only have one line, they'll go up and then they'll go back down to their seat, wait for the next line to go. Yeah, you know, and that's what it's like. And they do it very well. Because again, they're doing it to it, it's almost pre like They're not really dubbing it. They're doing it to add and they're not, uh, very few people say, oh, uh, the Japanese actors are dubbing it. No, they're not really dubbing it these days. They're, a lot of them are doing it to pre -lay. There was a time that they did dub it in them. They would have the existing animation first, and then they would do it. But now they know they're getting the rough sketches. They're getting the, 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 the animatics, and they're working like you guys do on like X-Men Evolution or something like that. So it's it's very similar to prelay. So the only people who are truly dubbing right now are are the outside of Japan doing anime. So let's see, moving on. So what else can we say that's different about it? the? Uh, have, have you guys been taking questions at all? Or not yet. We just sort of okay. introduced. Okay, cool. But uh, do you have questions? And so far, if anybody has a question, raise your hand. Yes, you in front. Um, I'm guessing uh, standard is like, you know, you all record uh, separately as individually um, mm -hmm. whenever you do the, the recordings. Um, I guess, um, does it really depend on how, like, um, well, let me try and rephrase that. Um, does it really, uh, is there like a certain sequence of like how you record, like if it's like a main character, if it's someone else is going to play off them first, or if they're going to play off? Well, for uh, my case, I mean, it depends on the studios they have. But also, you know, on the shows itself, there are actors who I know are main character. You know, they get the lead stuff, and I know they're very good at playing off of other people's dialogue. So I will get the supporting cast to actually record their lines first, so they can hear it and do give me their you know, first. And there are people I know who can basically I bring in first because they set the tone for the show, and therefore that way. You'll hear them. They, you know, they, they they can see it. They get they can visualize the character and create the tone for the show, and then everybody can play off of them. Uh, my rule of thumb, though, it, with there are certain rules I follow with regards to recording. I usually record villains over heroes first because the, the villains tend to chew up the scenery a lot. <laughs> and if you have the villains, you know, if you have the hero coming in and they like sort of underplay it too much, you know, because they don't hear the villain. So the villain comes in being over the top, suddenly it sounds like the heroes. I don't care what's yeah. going on. Yeah. So yeah, that's why it's always good to have villains come in. Bad guys do the stuff first so they know how, how the hero the heroes not react to that. And that's kind of an ideal scenario, but then on top of all that you have to work around availability for all the, yeah, the actors. And you know, a lot of the shows that I work on, um, the other actors are also on camera actors, so sometimes they're on movie sets, they're on you know, TV shows and things. 
Um, so I guess there's just there's a it's got to be really tricky doing the scheduling for for you know, when you're working on a series. But I don't have to do it. So. <laughs> I'm just gonna call. I was gonna ask one thing. Now again, this is again very varies by studio to studio, but there's the idea of what we call previewing lines. Not just we 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 split the beep track too, which is the countdown the person does before the line. Uh, and then what they're doing is they're watching the, the animation on screen so they know when to come in they can actually see as they're talking the lips moving so they can sort of follow along with that. But they're saying the previewing the line in Japanese. Um, when you were in Texas or whatever studios you're working on now in LA and in, in Canada today actually let you listen to the line that you're going to record in Japanese before you actually record in English. In all of the anime I've done, yes. Any of the video games, and that'd be both in Texas and California. Um, I find personally, I don't want to. I don't always want to listen to too much of the OJ, the original Japanese. We got plenty of it today, right? And pull them out one orange juice. Yeah, I can't steal orange juice from a child, especially when they're sleeping. <laughs> Japanese, for me, is just the coolest language out there. So, you know, what we do is very different. You know, we speak English, which well, is probably the main difference. Um, so, and I don't usually want to watch too much of the original Japanese because it can kind of flavor your take on the performance. And as an actor, you want to be able to kind of put your own twang on on a, the, 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 the voice actor can't tell getting done on the performance of a character. Um, there are exceptions, though. Um, uh, a big exception for me, um, if anybody's seen Death Note, if you've seen the uh, um, the last episode, I watched the original Japanese production of it probably four or five times, mostly because I was terrified. I wanted to do a good job, and I didn't want the series to end, and all that kind of stuff. So there are some times where you really want to take cues from the original Japanese. The, probably the, the most obvious example of that is if you're working on a show like I did called Drank Ball Z, where in the script it says primal epic scream, open mouth reaction, and sometimes you'll want to watch it first to see basically how long it's going to be, and in Dragon Ball Z sometimes it's a 30 second scream. Well, you don't want to just jump in and do that and realize that you, sh you pull up two or three seconds shy, because then you're going to be doing it again. You know, so sometimes we'll watch that just to see how big these reactions are. Also in the Gundam series too, because it, you know it'll be open mouth reaction. Reaction, yeah. Catch. So yeah, the, actually, 